That's raw. Who bust this, Kurt? Notice anything? Oh, man, you got a new jacket, Art. That's a cold piece. I mean, I wish I had one like it. Oh, hey, let me get the end with that, Miss Raw. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, you should hold it from the bottom. The bag's that's likely to break. <laughs> thank you, Arthur. <laughs> Yo, Kurt, gotta get your mom to get you a jacket like this now. I know, man, I'm gonna do that. I just have to ask at the right time, in the right way, man. Then y'all have a jacket as hype as mine. Oh, man, your jacket is old news, B. It don't even have the tags on it anymore. I can't help it if my mom's ripped the tags off. Hey, man, what good is your jacket without the tags? Everybody know you gotta have your tags. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Why must you have tags? Pay attention, B. You gotta have the tags, cause... Because you gotta have the tags. Right, right, so that makes sense. Yo, remember when Buddy tried to pass off those phony pumps last year as the real thing? Perpetrator! <laughs> you guys through eating? Oh, thanks for the sandwich. It was dope. I beg your pardon. Oh, no, don't, Grandma. That means, um, slamming. You know, hype. Yeah, kicking. <laughs> you miss Arsenio one week and the whole world passes you. <laughs> Well, see, he was a stranger until he got into his BMW. I figured it was a sign we were meant for each other. <laughs> BMW, black male wealthy. <laughs> Hillary, go in and get washed up and I'll make you some lunch, okay? Okay. Hey, y'all, what's happening? Hi, guys. Hi, Hi fellas. Hey, Miss Ron. Ma'am? Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm much too young to be ma'am and way too pretty to be Mr. <laughs> you may call me Cooker. <laughs> Check out my mama. Now, she look good, too. Hey, man, I don't mean check out, check out. I mean check out how she's doing her homework. What is it that you want, Curtis? Well, Mom, you just have to check out Arch's new jacket. Show her, show her. Man. <laughs> well, now, that's very graceful, Art. Maybe later you can model some of my skirts. <laughs> very nice coat, Art. Thanks. No, you don't say very nice. You say hype or dope. A slamming. Excuse me, Liz, is that our mama or Queen Latifah? <laughs> Come here, Arch. You huh? still got the tag on it. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Ouch. Ouch is right. Ouch is right. Does this come with two pair of pants? Look at this, Elizabeth. This is an awful lot of money, Curtis. But, Liz, when it comes to style, money is not an object. Then would you like to buy this jacket for Curtis? Sorry, I butted in. <laughs> Mom, look at this jacket. It's raggedy, torn. Look, no tags. I've got to get ready for class now, Curtis. Let me think about it. Grandma, I have to get one of those jackets. All my friends have them. I've got an idea. Get some new friends. <laughs> No, you made it all wrong. How? See, you put the jelly on top of the peanut butter, and Hillary likes the peanut butter on top of the jelly. How silly of me. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> wow, and I've been throwing all those sandwiches away for nothing. <laughs> Hey, Ruth, it's me, Willis. Mm. Remind me to change that no pest strip. <laughs> Hi, Willis. Hey, Kim. Hillary. Ruth, how would you like to go out with someone big and handsome? 
Willis, I'd love to. Give him my phone number. <laughs> Come on, Ruth. Hey, you won't believe what I got my hands on for this Saturday night. I know what you're not getting your hands on Saturday night. <laughs> Ruth, Ruth, wait up, Ruth. No. Look, I came to ask you out for Saturday night. Willis, didn't you hear me say no? I don't think any man ever heard you say no. <laughs> Mama, give the man a break. You've been out with lots worse than Willis. <laughs> no offense, Willis. You know you're gonna say yes sometime, Ruth. I'm wearing you down. No, Willis, you are wearing me out. <laughs> you know, I thought she couldn't turn me down this time. I scored two tickets to the Southern Star Ball. That's a very exclusive soiree. How'd you happen to get invited? Well, I maced this pit bull that was trying to date Judge Foley's leg. Well, I am surprised that Ruth didn't leap at a chance to go to that ball. Oh, I never even got a chance to ask her. I mean, why won't she go out with me? Any woman in her right mind would be glad to go out with you. Pity is you pick one that isn't in her right mind. <laughs> You know, I'm beginning to think that she'll never go out with me. Well, it's been 20 years. You could start to lean in that direction. <laughs> Maybe you're right. I do need to get on with my life. There are plenty of other legs out there for this pit bull. Mama, is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. Oh, good. Oh, by now you think I'd be used to men blindly throwing themselves at me. Oh, sometimes my gifts can be such a burden. <laughs> for us all. <laughs> but I've been talking to Willis. He's not going to ask you out anymore. <gasps> Thank you, Mama. No one can turn up a man like you. Uh, you can rest easy, because he's going to take someone else to the Southern Star Ball. He was going to take me? And not because of you, he's not. <laughs> oh, there goes my chance to meet Ted Turner. <laughs> I said, Jane owes me one. <laughs> well, maybe I can still catch him. Willis! Forget it, Ruth. Willis is gone. He's tired of you treating him so cold. In that case, I'll just have to warm him up with a little hot cocoa. <laughs> Hi, Mama. Hi, Grandma. Hi, babies. Wait till you see this jacket I got, Curtis. I had to go to five different stores, but I found it on sale. Oh, honey, that's real nice. Are you crazy? Spend this kind of money for a jacket, he'll outgrow it in six months. Yeah, but, Grandma, the real jacket costs twice as much. And nobody can tell the difference. And by shopping around, I saved $100. No, you spent $100. Can you spare that? No, not really, but I'll make do this month. It's fun buying things for the kids. Oh, well, Mom, why don't you and I go down to the mall and we can have lots of things? <laughs> Good afternoon, Miss Rowe. Hi, Willis. Will you hand me that fertilizer over there? Yes, ma'am. I was just talking about you this morning with the checker down to the Piggly Wiggly. Which one? The one that dips snuff or the pudgy one? <laughs> now, wait just a minute. Since Jonelle lost that 35 pounds, she's a lot less piggly and a lot more wiggly. <laughs> Maybe you should take her to the ball. I don't care about that ball. The only reason I was going to go was to impress Ruth. Besides, I gave those tickets away. My favorite gentleman called. Well, I don't have to worry about running out of this. I think it's time I started toying with her. Do it. Uh, nice to see you, Ruth. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's your hurry? A hard-working letter carrier such as yourself deserves a brief respite from his appointed rounds. <laughs> Lord, I know you said vengeance is yours, but could you lend Willis a little of it for a few minutes? Well, I can't stay long, Ruth. I need to go and make some plans for a Saturday night. Oh, well, sit right down here and tell Coco all about it. Ah, you wouldn't be interested in my personal life. Don't be silly. Now that I know you have one, I'm fascinated. <laughs> you comfy? Well, this... Tired body sure could use a tender touch. 
Oh, well, let me see what I can do for those manly shoulders. <laughs> oh, my. You been lifting weights? No. <laughs> Sears catalogs. If you could go out on Saturday night with any woman in the world, who would that be? Well, I hear the girl down at Piggly Wiggly is showing some interest. The snuff dipper? <laughs> You can do better than that, Willis. Uh, you can do better, too. I have a knot right here. <laughs> Willis, how long have you and I known each other? Since we were 14. How many years is that? Well, let's just call it 20 for you and 10 for me. <laughs> I was thinking, in all those years, I mean, we've never even gone out. Ruth, are you asking me out? No, don't be silly. But if you would ask me out now, who knows what might happen? Well... Maybe next Saturday. Next Saturday, this is a limited offer. <laughs> oh. This Saturday, huh? Well, why not? So ask me. You want to go out Saturday? Ooh, Willis, this is so sudden. <laughs> I'd be delighted. You know, I know the perfect place for us to go. Well, I'll go anywhere with you, Willis, uh -huh. this Saturday. <clears throat> Excellent. Well, uh, lots of mail to deliver. <laughs> oh, I am looking forward to Saturday night. We are going to have a ball. We sure are. <laughs> <laughs> I am so good. <laughs> I am so good. I swept the kitchen, so I'm gonna go to the ball game with Buddy and Art, okay, Ma? Okay, oh, Curtis, before you go, this is for you. I got you that jacket you wanted. Oh, man! Well, put it on and flaunt it. Oh, yeah. Oh, good, it fits. You look slamming. <laughs> So what do you think? Oh, my, it's great. Thanks. <laughs> Have fun at the game, honey. OK, I will. Oh, man. You hate that jacket, don't you? It's not the real thing. Look, Kim, it has a zipper instead of snaps. Yeah, and the cuffs are all wrong, too. Oh, I didn't notice. Thanks. <laughs> hey, Kim, if you knew this was a slum jacket, why did you let Mom buy it? Well, this may surprise you, but I didn't have the extra hundred to give her. <laughs> She has to take this back. She can't. All sales were final. I'm stuck with it. Kim, do you know what will happen to me if I go in public with this slum jacket? There's no way I can wear this jacket. But if you don't, you're going to hurt Mom. But everybody else has the real thing. And if I wear this, I'm going to be permanently dissed. Curtis, do you have any idea how long Mom had to work to afford this jacket for you? She's going to want to see you wear it. Kim, there's nothing more important to me than Mom's feelings. Oh, man, it's the guys. Uh, uh, stash it. No, uh, you on your own. I'll get it. Oh, no, Grandma, I can get it. That's all right. I'm right here. I got it. But Grandma, you don't have I it. got it. All right, buddy. What's up? What's up? <laughs> hey, Miss Roy, you deaf down there and doo doo. This one you think you're about to understand. Come on in, fellas. Let me fix you something. Oh, uh, no, 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 Grandma. Buddy's not hungry. No? No, no, no. Uh, Grandma, I gotta go, so we'll see you after the game, okay? Bye-bye. Right, uh, Curtis? Yes? Aren't you gonna take your new jacket here? Oh, Grandma, no, that's, that's too nice to wear to some job time basketball game. Oh, you know what? I'll bust it out on just the right occasion. Okay. All right, Grandma. Bust it out! <laughs> Deaf, don't! Goodness, the last time I saw you dressed like that was the night of your prom. Could you try to come home this time in less than a week? I can't imagine what Willis will look like in his tuxedo. You might have to. <laughs> Wait, Mama, do you hear that? What? This dress screaming for mercy. <laughs> come on in, Willis. Hey, Miss Royal. Ruth. You look incredible. <laughs> Willis, 
You don't? <laughs> you expect to go to the Southern Star Ball dressed like that? No. I expect to go to dinner and a movie dressed like this. Well, I'm, I want to put this as tactfully as possible. <laughs> what the hell happened to the ball? <laughs> well, I gave the tickets away. Besides, you said you'd go anywhere with me. <laughs> you finally getting a dose of your own medicine. Tastes nasty, don't it? <laughs> Mama, you knew about this. Of course. I just didn't know it was going to be this much fun. <laughs> well, I am not going out with you. Oh, yes, you are. Now, I made plans. Now, after dinner at the steak silo, we're going to see the new Schwarzenegger movie, and then a little slow dancing, and I don't want to hear another word about it. Anything you say, Willis. Fine. But in instead of steak, can we go Chinese? OK. And, you know, I was really hoping to see that new Denzel Washington movie. Uh, he's good. And instead of this slow dancing stuff, why don't we stop over at the Tasty Freeze? Uh, hey, who's in charge, me or you? Well, relax, Willis. I'm going to let you pay. Have a good time, fellas. And I'm not speaking to everybody. Man, your aunt be looking fine. Yo, man, she looks like that babe in that hammer video. Oh, you talking about that tall hottie with all that booming body? No, oh, man, the one that be doing this, look out. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, let's go ahead and get to that movie. Oh, I don't know which one, which one we're going to see. Curtis? Curtis, baby, it's going to be cold out tonight. Don't you want to take your new jacket? Oh, uh, no, no, that's OK, Ma. That's OK, thanks. What new jacket? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, Ma, shouldn't you be getting in the house? You have homework to do. No, I did all my homework. I finished my trumpet. Why am I explaining this to you? Here, take this jacket. Good night. Good night. <laughs> well, I guess we should go ahead and get to that gang. No, hold on, man. Show us the coat. Yeah, man, what you got there, brother? It's nothing. So what happened? Your mama detagged you? No, nah, he still got the tag. Oh, no. Perpetrator. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Here's the jacket, fellas. Hey, hey, you the homie. You think we get on you? Knock, knock. Who's that? Off. Off who? Knock off! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that I would pick out this weak, sorry piece of polyester? Hey, check it out, man. You gonna go to the movies with us? Don't come inside until they turn off the lights. No, face. Brother to brother, that jacket is whack. <laughs> man, you don't think that I know that? Man, my mama picked this out. And all she cares about is saving money. Man, I'm gonna take this piece of rag down to the movies and I'm gonna leave it there, homie. Ain't no way I'm coming up out of that, ain't <laughs> Inside. Oh, no, Grandma, we were just about to go to the movie. Inside. <laughs> this will take a minute, fellas. <laughs> Think this minute's gonna take a while. Yeah, man, Miss Roar talking to him. Ain't no telling when he coming up out of it. <laughs> what is all this foolishness about this jacket? Oh, Grandma, I can't wear this cheap imitation in public. Cheap? Your mama spent $100 for that jacket. You know how hard she has to work for her money. Grandma, I know Mama tried her best, but she bought a jacket with a zipper instead of snaps. She did? Your mama is a fool. <laughs> I'm serious. Will you explain to me how a zipper makes a jacket right or wrong? See, the thing is, everybody else has these jackets. Hold it right there. Now, you know when you start an explanation with everybody else, you are not going to come out on top with me. Oh, Grandma, the jacket makes me look stupid. It's not the jacket that makes you look stupid. It's your dumb attitude. You don't understand. I understand you care more about what you wear than who you are. Grandma, I can't wear it. It's, it's not cool. Poor Curdy Wordy. <laughs> he feels so bad because his jacket's not like everybody else. <laughs> Come on, Grandma. Stop treating me like a baby. When you stop acting like one. But I, it's not fair. I can't wait this to This is think not I... the time to talk. This is the time to think. There's me and LaRon Wilson at the prom. What a loser. You know, I always wondered how I'm going to know when I meet my Mr. Wright. Well, first off, it's going to be Dr. Wright. <laughs> And you'll know, because we're going to tell you. Hey, everybody. Hey, baby. Hi, did you have a good time? Yeah, we saw Buddy and the Beast. 
You mean Beauty and the Beast. No, Buddy has a new girlfriend. <laughs> so did everybody notice your new jacket? Yeah, yeah, they were talking about it all night. <laughs> it's, it's one of a kind. <laughs> Am I missing something? Oh, no, no, no. We were just kidding about my jacket, because it's a little bit different than the other guys. You do like it, don't you? What I like most about it is that you bought it for me, Ma. Aww. Thanks. Aww. Aww. You go. Oh, Curtis, you are funky fresh. <laughs> And, Grandma, you are so wonderful. You mean slamming. Yeah, slamming, is it? <laughs> Good night, Willis. You know, Ruth, I had a lot of fun tonight. Well, it certainly wasn't as bad as I expected. So maybe we'll go out again, huh? Oh, let's not ruin the memory of this date by having another one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was wondering, Ruth, I was wondering if Catching you would be as much fun as chasing you. What are you talking about? Of course you want to catch me. Well, I don't know. I mean, now every morning I wake up and I think, what can I do to get Ruth to go out with me? Now, if I catch you, I may wake up and think, oh, no, there she is. <laughs> Willis, the only way I'm going to be lying next to you is if I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> Come on, Ruth. Can you look me in the eye and say that we will never be romantic? Willis, look me in the eyes. We will never be romantic. <laughs> now, don't be so sure. I mean, 24 hours ago, you swore you would never, ever go out with me. And tonight, we shared a tasty freeze. <laughs> See you later, darling. Yeah. Darling. Well, what? Well, who can blame him? If I were a man, I couldn't resist me either. Mm. <laughs>